Yes. Hello everybody, welcome. So, I'm here in the studio. <laughs> and I've been doing some... Let me just bring the camera. You can, you can see that I've got a bunch of GP bowls. These are some that I had in the last uh, bisque kiln that you saw me unpack. These I have now glazed on the inside. These, these GPs are only glazed on the inside and they're banded with a couple of cobalt lines as you can see there. Notice that the glaze does not go right up to the rim. It stops just short so that enables me to fire them face to face like that. So that's those, some there which I've got to... Next thing I have to do with those is spray them with wood ash. Then over here, some tankards which I've already... Uh, I've already double dipped these in, in Sullivan. Um, so they're waiting to be, to be banded. And I've got here my, my pigments. I have red iron oxide here and some cobalt here. So, oh, hello. <laughs> Sheena, what do you want? So that's those. These uh, little pots here, I think I showed you them, they are waiting also for, to be sprayed. The little dishes here, which have now had the red iron oxide slip, scraffito, which I have cleaned off. They are... Just a point here to mention, if you do have a seal, then sometimes it's convenient just to scrape away a little bit of the glaze, otherwise it can get completely smothered. Some more tankards here, as you see with a white glaze. And then I've got over here some more tankards, which are like the ones in Saladin. These are glazed all over. I may have to do some wiping off here on the feet or little sp splashes. That I think I see. Oh yeah, there you are. I see. There's a piece of. So you want to get get rid of that. That. What I've actually got to do now is uh, make up some red iron, uh, red iron, red iron oxide pigment here. Originally, the pigment that I was using, I was using a natural red iron oxide, and I've. I'm swapping over to using the synthetic red iron oxide. So, uh, yeah, I've got some red clay that I, I dried out here. This is just like a regular kind of terracotta kind of clay, but I had to cut it off a block. So I put it here on my plate warmer and dried it out thoroughly so it's completely dry now. Uh, well, I'm, I put a bit of um, aluminium foil over it to sort of trap the heat in there. These actually are really good things for drying out pots and they have lots of uses in the pottery. So, yeah. Let me just put the camera on the tripod, I think. Otherwise you'll be complaining that I'm making you all dizzy. <laughs> so what I need to do is get my scales here. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure out um, I think you're going to, you go over there Sheena. Go over there, good boy. So we're going to Yeah, the recipe for this is 75% um, red iron oxide and 25% red clay. Okay, so um, how shall I do this? Let's just get some clay here. Seven 
I've got to figure out in my head now. So if I did, um, yeah. So I'm going to set it to naught. And I'm going to put in here. You want to do this, by the way, dry weight, okay? Dry weight. Two point five ounces. So if you, I'm just going to make up a small amount. You see. So, are we in the picture? Are we in the picture? Oh, I can't see. Ooh. Oh yeah. I see. There we are. Hang on a minute. That's better. So let's just zoom it a touch. So I've got there in the the measuring jug on the scales. I've got two and a half ounces of dry um, dry red clay. Now I'm going to add to that. I'm going to add to that some of this red iron oxide. Okay. So in order to get a, a percentage of 25, 75, I'm now going to need to add another, to make it up to, make it up to 10 ounces, you see. So, This stuff is really not good to get spread around, you know, so... Take a bit of care that you don't spill it everywhere. Okay, that's 10 ounces there, complete. So 75% of it is the red iron oxide and 25% of it is the red clay. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer this. I'm actually... Just bring it up to the camera here so you can see it. Well, this you, you can imagine, you see, it's going to make up quite a lot. You see, you can see the chunks of red clay in there. Okay, well, I'm just going to give it a stir. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water to that and um, just let it. Just add the water, you see.
The important thing is now to get it to slake down, get those chunks of clay to... It needs a bit more, doesn't it? it? Needs a bit more. Now it looks kind of <laughs> well. What we're going to do with this is we are going to get a. You want to get a one of these, and you want to put it through the sieve. But you know, right now it's it's too soon to do that. Because the clay here is not properly you've got to make sure that the clay is dry you see before you add the water to it like I've just done it's all always dry weight you see so I may have to leave this for some hours just to soak before I, I'm going to be able to actually get it through the sieve. And then when I've got it through the sieve, uh, I'll put it into a container like this. Yeah, well this is the other... This is the other pigment that I was using with... Um, with natural red iron oxide, and I've, I've actually I made a mistake. I uh, bought too much of the stuff. I bought something like 25 pounds of natural red iron oxide, and I really should have got the synthetic. The synthetic is much more alive, <laughs> so I recommend you use synthetic red iron oxide. Don't use the natural. Um, So, yeah, it's, it takes a little bit of, it, takes a, it will take a little bit of effort to get this through, through the sieve. Um, but once you've got it, you see, you've got a fair amount here. This might last me for a couple of years, you know, once it's all mixed up. And you've got it sealed in a pot that is marked clearly on the outside what it is. Don't forget to do that. Okay folks, it's just a quick clip on how to prepare a, uh, an iron oxide decorating pigment that you can use to paint like I can to decorate these tankards and anything else. Um, so if you've not done it before, have a go, make up a small amount of um, of this decorating pigment and see, see how you like it. Get yourself some decent brushes, okay, and um, Get decorating! <laughs> Honestly, you should try. It's good fun and you'll learn as you go and get better. Hey, thanks for joining us. Visit my website, simonleachpottery.com and um, yeah, a couple of workshops coming up October 24th and 25th and November 7th and 8th. Mark them in your diary. <laughs> Uh, better still, actually come, come on the workshop and uh, join us here. We'll have fun. Okay, thanks a lot, folks. Keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Where's the on-off button? Oh, there it is.